So for a long time, the ocean has been solving a lot of our problems. It's been feeding civilizations. It's been connecting us one to another across the world. And now today, we ask that it solve one more big pressing problem. What follows is the story of Amit Aharoni, an Israeli-born but American entrepreneur. Tonight, ABC's David Muir looks more closely at a roadblock aimed at entrepreneurs eager to set up shop on U.S. soil higher right here in the U.S. But instead, why are they being turned away? Take a walk through so many American high-tech companies and you'll find the same thing at the top. CEOs, foreign entrepreneurs who chose America to start their businesses and employed millions of Americans in doing so. Among the companies, Google, Yahoo, Pfizer, even eBay selling just about everything and sold on doing it in America. In fact, in just 10 years' time, foreign entrepreneurs who fought to get visas to America and got them created 450,000 American jobs, and that's just the high-tech sector. So why is it so difficult for foreign entrepreneurs today to get a visa to stay here, even when they're sitting on the next big thing and want to employ Americans to get it done? Take Amit Aharoni, a Stanford Business School grad from Israel who invented CruiseWise.com, an online booking engine just like Orbitz or Expedia, Expedia. only for cruises. He's already hired nine American employees, and his company has been rated one of the hot 20 Silicon Valley startups to watch. Investors so confident they've poured in more than a million dollars already. After all, he'd come to America for an education. Stanford so impressed when he applied, a handwritten note from the dean. Congratulations, he wrote. Your commitment to innovation, to proving that anything is possible, will ensure that you succeed. But the question now, where? Because Amit just learned from the U.S. government his visa has been denied. Now he's running his company from a friend's living room in Canada. How's everyone doing? Thumbs up? They gave him a thumbs up back, All right. Skyping from 900 miles away back in California. How frustrated are you? I'm extremely frustrated. This entire situation is, I find this outrageous. On hold, his long-term hopes to eventually hire hundreds of Americans. Does this mean you might take those jobs you created here in America elsewhere? I would hate to see that happen, but I might be forced to, yes. So his situation is not unique. There are many entrepreneurs who want to come to Silicon Valley and do exactly what he was doing, but are not able to do so because they cannot secure the work visas necessary to be able to start their companies here in this country and indeed in Silicon Valley. Of course, the obvious solution to this problem is uh, legislative. So uh, here we have the Startup Visa Act, one of the many types of legislation that have been proposed to solve this problem. But unfortunately, immigration generally is a very hard subject to face politically. And this bill in particular has not moved at all in Congress. There's now a new one being proposed, but its chances of success aren't very good. So effectively, Silicon Valley is closed to a lot of very innovative people, the world's best from coming here and planting their seeds in the most fertile ground to grow a startup, to grow a technology company, to innovate and to change the world. But this being at least the greater Silicon Valley area, we could say, we here like to think outside of the box. And in our case, that's exactly what we're doing. Specifically, we're thinking 12 miles outside the box. So. 12 miles is the distance to international waters. That line you see there very faintly is the demarcation line of the U.S.'s territorial waters. Once you're outside there, you are not in the U.S. jurisdiction. You are effectively outside of the scope of needing a work visa to be able to do anything. So what does this mean? Well, we are solving this problem by creating the first truly international startup community. 12 miles from the coast of the San Francisco Bay Area for a thousand of the world's best, brightest, and boldest technology entrepreneurs. So what this effectively means is that we're essentially creating a gateway for small companies, for entrepreneurs who don't yet have the resources to be able to come into Silicon Valley itself. It takes a lot of time, a lot of money to be able to be on board to create their companies there and scale to the point where it makes sense for them. They have the resources to move into Silicon Valley itself, where all their investors are and where companies, especially technology companies, want to come to scale and to grow. Now, we've had a lot of media exposure 
We've been all over the press, a lot of technology news. Um, we've been in a number of, of the green press as well. And, uh, but it's, it's important to keep in mind that this is not a solution for all of the problems. It's a solution that's specifically for entrepreneurs who are creating startups and looking to change the world. Bold and adventurous entrepreneurs are the only ones who need to apply. Now, this is also a space that will inspire creativity, collaboration among these entrepreneurs, help them exchange ideas one with the other. And it's a space that I think will demonstrate, given the people we'll have on board, given my own proclivities and how we feel about this in the Bay Area, I want this to be one of the top five greenest places to live in the world for people at our level of affluence. So far, we've had about 126 startups from uh, over 40 countries from around the world who have expressed interest in being on board. This is a truly international and a truly global enterprise. Our formula is to take essentially the dorm room, uh, the, what you find at a university where Google and Facebook cropped out of, pair that together with essentially a hackathon co-working space, and have that together for year round in an awesome technology space in the ocean. Specifically, we'll be using a converted cruise ship. So you take an old used cruise ship, you gut it out in the inside, you change everything, you add new technology and you set it out there, anchor it. But we can also use what's known as accommodation vessels or if we have enough money, we can even do some sort of custom built platform. That might be version two. It's been called Googleplex of the sea and for good reason. The Googleplex space has been known as an awesome collaborative working environment and that's exactly what we'd like to recreate on board. It takes about half an hour to get from ship to shore and you'd be going in through the Half Moon Bay area. Now everybody who's on shore will be able to come into the US not on a work visa but on a business and tourist travel visa. These are a lot easier to attain than work visas and actually give these people a chance to come into the area, meet with investors, come to events like this or a party in San Francisco. A lot of the magic that helps companies succeed in Silicon Valley. We're going to be charging about $1,200 of rent per person per month. And of course, there's different views and different rooms. Oh, well, actually, the only real view you could get is a view of the ocean. But, you know, it would be a nice one, you know, up on the top floor. And uh, we also take a small equity position in all the startups on board, tying our success in with their success. We'll be launching in about a year and a half to two. There's a number of things we have to work through, getting a good, stable internet connection on board, uh, finding the exact ship, having the interior design work done, finding the awesome clean tech and green tech companies that want to work with us to make this space possible. And all of that is what we'll be doing in the next about a year. And who do we want on board? Well, people working on real world problems with scalable solutions in a disruptive way and people that strive for greatness. But also a number of other research institutes and groups that we're calling the enhancers. So people who want to come on there and do cool science stuff are also going to be welcome. How do you get on board? In two words, be awesome. And talk to me. And thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs>